Pro Football Weekly is taking a look at some of the top free agents right now. We're talking about Mario Manningham. He's one of the stars of the Super Bowl, really made a name for himself. But we don't really know, at least I don't know, how good he really is. Is he capable of being a number one, one of a star guy on another team? Well, this is actually a disappointing season for him. You know, he had a starting opportunity at the beginning of the year, uh, had 900 yards last season in 2010, came into this year, a lot of promise, a lot of expectations. Actually kind of struggled during the regular season, only caught about 39 passes. It wasn't until the postseason, touchdown in every game leading up to the Super Bowl, and then the big 39-yard catch from uh, Eli Manning that set up the game-winning score. So definitely a, an upward mobility there in the, in the postseason that really helped him out. I think he's the number three. I think he's got a great situation in New York. He obviously thinks he can be a number two. He may go to a place like Tampa where they can pay him and they have an opportunity there. It seems like Victor Cruz kind of took the numbers that we were expecting Mario no Manningham question. to have last year and even went with it beyond that. Now, he did have the catch in the Super Bowl. We've seen situations before, guys like Larry Brown or Dexter Jackson that had great Super Bowl performances, went and signed big contracts, and then whew, never were heard of again, really. Is that a situation you think could happen with Manningham? I'll throw another name out there, Dion Branch. Remember, he was the, the, the MVP against the Eagles in that Super Bowl. Thought of himself as a number one receiver, even though he was injured a lot and didn't ever have a thousand yard season. Same kind of deal. Very effective in the Patriots offense. That's why I think if Manningham goes elsewhere, he could be somewhat of a bust. I think he's best off staying with Eli in New York. He could best his numbers from the 2011 regular season. You just wonder if teams think the same way, if they're willing to give him that big money or they'll take precaution like they saw yep. what happened with Branch or those other guys. So if he does leave New York, which he seems to think he's going to do, where do you think he might end up? You know, there are a lot of teams that could use wide receiver help, like the Chicago Bears, like the Houston Texans. But the team I mentioned, Tampa Bay, Mike Sullivan, their offensive coordinator, just came over from the Giants where he was the QB coach is said to have an affinity for Manningham. So he likes the, you know, supposedly likes the edge that he plays with. So I wouldn't be shocked if he ends up a buck. They've got a lot of cap space. They've got a lot of cap space and a lot of needs on that team yep. as well. We'll see if Mar Mario Manningham ends up there. You can follow along throughout the whole process. Just subscribe to us on YouTube or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.